Hi there, Vicky here. On today's Craft Artist tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the bug so you can open Craft Artist without disconnecting from the internet. However, there are a couple of little glitches, but it's a no big deal. It's easily worked around. So, without further ado, let's see if we can fix this. So, first of all, open your web browser you use and type in the search bar oops I nearly pushed my keyboard off type in the search bar forum affinity dot serif dot com and click enter now at the top of the page you'll get the affinity forum just click on it and it will open now in the search bar type in legacy plus range and then click enter and at the very top here it will say information about the legacy plus range double click and it should open now what I'll, what I want you to do next I want you to scroll down to the very bottom this is where they've done the uh, last update which was yesterday at 448 and it will say you've got two options option A is to turn your internet off or option B is the method I'm going to show you so double click on this file and then save it to your computer now remember where you've saved it to so um, mine I want it in applications yes it's in applications and then click on save and then once it's saved up here open it up double click oops, click on it and then click on show in folder yours might differ um, slightly if you've got Windows 11 I'm just gonna delete this one because I did another video and of course it glitched and froze and broke <laughs> so I've had to do this again so uh, once you see your file at the top of the page or wherever it is go to view now it'll uh, look different in Windows 11 but I'm going to go to view you go to view in Windows 11 I'll click on view double click now scroll across and click on file name extensions if you've got Windows 11, right click on view, scroll down to show more and then click on file name extensions. Make sure it's checked. And then once you've made sure it's checked, go to your file where mine is at the top, right click and then scroll down to rename. Now you'll see it says Craft Artist 2 Start Fix dot. Now what I want you to do, I want you to highlight the TXT bit and then in, instead of having TXT I want you to type in Reg, that's Romeo Echo Golf, so it's Reg and then click on enter and then you shall see this pane come up, it'll say if you change your file name extension the file might become unusable, oh, do you know what, I struggle with that word, unusable are you sure you want to change it yes and then your picture will change double click on that and then click on run click on yes click on yes click on ok so once you've done that just minimize your pages and then double click on serif craft artist or launch craft artist once craft artist is open I'm just gonna maximize the page once it's open go to file scroll down to open and just see if one of your previous um, documents you saved opens and a big shout out to Cheryl Budden by the way absolutely fantastic she showed me what to do and I said I would make a video so thank you very much Cheryl you're a lifesaver so as you can see 
um, my previous um, files that I uh, or pages I uh, made has opened a treat. Now, what I want you to do next is I want you to go to New Craft Project. Mine's here because I've done a, um, a shortcut. Now, this is where the glitch comes in. It's a no biggie, so don't worry about it. When you go to Add Items from Digikit, you will get this window pop up. Just click on No, and you'll get one straight after it. Click on No again, and then import your Digikit as normal so I'm just gonna import any old digikit okay and then just add digikit okay and click on done and that is how you do it with still being connected to the um, internet so thank you for watching and if you could all do me a favor please if you want to leave a comment I would rather you leave a comment on my YouTube channel as this helps my channel grow and it also reaches out to more people and it gets the word out so if you could do that for me please rather than um, leave a message on my YouTube uh, my Facebook page or the group I help admin so that would be a big help for me please and if you could like uh, the video as well um, that will also go out and reach a lot more people the algorithm that's if you don't mind it's I know it's a big ask but if you don't mind because the more people know about this the more people will be uh, aware that they can actually do something about the glitch anyway thank you very much and once again thank you very much Cheryl Budden you're a lifesaver love you lots my friend anyway you take care and I will see you on my next video so goodbye for now